Hello, and welcome to Moscato and Tea. This is the show for all things beauty, business, and community with your host, Inez and Chiquita, keeping it raw, real, and unfiltered. Welcome back. Hey, hey, hey. Part two, Hot Topics. So now that we've gotten all the good stuff out of the way, okay, we're going to get into some politics. Are we going to get, oh, Lord, you know how I feel about this. I know. That's why I wanted to get, get the good stuff you out of the way. You know how I feel <laughs> about. Because I know you're going to go into that. You mm. know <laughs> how I feel about this. I'll be like, mm. Yeah. Mm. I know. So let's kind of ease into it before we mm. get to the big guy. Um, Joe Biden, mm-hmm. he's running. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts? I'm not surprised. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, um, oh, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it's, it is going to be what it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, it's, it is what it is. I mean, She's it is, I know I'm doing, shit. I'm doing all kinds of shit at, at, at the same time. <laughs> So, you know, it's called running business, doing yes. everything at one time while you're working. So, anywho, um, I'm not surprised. It mm-hmm. is what it is. Every usually vice president runs after, mm-hmm. you know, now let's just see what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Here we go. We got like 50 million people running and running. What are we going to do? Who mm-hmm. are we picking? What is it going to happen? You know, th- at the end of the day, I think most people just want somebody who's going to be able to um Battle with Trump, mm-hmm. not, you know, like, you know, stay in the same mm-hmm. um, and um, win. That's yeah. I think that's basically it. So yeah. I don't know who I don't know. I can't yeah. even. Yeah, I saw him on The View and he answered a couple questions. Oh, yeah. I mean, um, the girl I've been gone. I haven't even been I able know. to watch The View. That's another, I know. So that's but like, I watch all this stuff, you know, for us just right. to make sure and keep you updated. Right. Um, and he answered a couple questions. And well, one of them was um, he didn't he asked he told uh, Barack Obama not to endorse him, which is kind of, I actually can see that understandable because there's so much heat around him already. And I just felt like, you know, he felt like, you know, he wanted to kind of be his own man going Mm -hmm. into this. So that's kind of understandable. Um, And listen, what I'm about to say, please don't inbox us. Like I'm all for (laughs) women. I'm all for me too and all this stuff. But I'm just trying to understand. They kept pressuring him to apologize to Anita Hill. And I don't know exactly what happened back then. I was I don't even know how old I was. Yeah. But it just was like, what exactly did he personally do to Anita Hill? You know what? That's I don't even know. That's that a they good keep question. Harping on. Winning. I guess not. That's something we're gonna have to research and figure it out. Yeah. Because I, I don't know. At this here, this this is my problem. Mm-hmm. Right now we're gonna pr- What's good for the goose got to be good mm-hmm. for the gander. You know, we got a president right now who mm-hmm. is, mas- is so misogynistic, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. a, a racist, uh, all kinds of things. Mm-hmm. And we're going to pressure a candidate to apologize on some other. Listen, mm-hmm. at this point, like you said, I'm not a, you know, at this point, there we got bigger fish to fry mm-hmm. than something that happened 25 years ago. Mm-hmm. He, We don't know how, who, what he might apologize. I don't know. At this point, can we focus on trying to get this man out mm-hmm. of office? Mm-hmm. We keep bringing up shit of the past. People do change. And mm-hmm. if he's showing he's changed, mm-hmm. then by all means. Yes, here's the thing, too. People always want to be on some bullshit. But you have to understand when you, you're talking 25, 30 years ago, things were a little different. Mm-hmm. People are, were a little bit more touchy touchy. Mm-hmm. People weren't so sensitive. Mm-hmm. There, there's a lot. I'm not saying yeah. that what we we don't have valid yeah points on it. Of course, but I'm just saying that when this starts to happen now, we want people to go back in history and mm-hmm. change things. We cannot. If that was the situation and the case, then. Black folks would mm-hmm. not be in the situation that we're in right now. Mm-hmm. If it was time to go apologize, do rest, re- reparations, do shit, do things right. Mm-hmm. If you're completely sorry, but that's not that's not the case. We keep looking back and not looking forward. Mm-hmm. And that's why we can't move as a country and as people mm-hmm. because we keep looking behind us and not looking what we can create in front of us. And the problem is that they keep looking backwards on the what the Democrats are doing and their problems 
but they're but here, hush but hush yes, on the but, other side. But the, so here's my here's, thing is you need to have a balance. But here's the thing: if the Democratic Party needs to be like, okay, whatever, and mm-hmm. start moving forward and start pushing forward, so I that agree. way this new young generation of people that are hungry for something new can go ahead. Okay, whatever, keep looking at the past, but this is what we're really doing here. Mm-hmm. But that's not what's going on. It's a tit for tat. Mm-hmm. Let's do this. Let's do yeah. that. Can you apologize? Can you not? It's like, dude, can we just let all that shit go and move forward? Mm-hmm. As long as we keep doing that and as long as we keep nitpicking on fucking the past, yes, if you don't acknowledge the past, you can't change and move Mm -hmm. into the future. I do agree upon that. If he acknowledges, yes, Mm -hmm. I did some bad shit, but that's not where I'm at right now and I'm moving forward and you can prove that, then we need to let it go. But if we keep harping on this stuff, it's we're never we're we're always gonna be in this um we're always gonna be hamsters in a in a in a in that wheelhouse. Yeah. Because the hamster yeah. in the wheel, it's gonna yeah. keep going and going, yeah. and you're, finally somebody's gonna fucking get tired. Yeah, until you drop dead, and then you're mm-hmm. like, "Well, I wasted all this time on some bullshit." Exactly. So, I mean, at the end of the day, let me guess: was it Megan McCain <laughs> pushing, or was it? Wh- no, she's actually on his side, um, surprisingly. Okay. Um, and you know, because they were well, there's a couple things like they were saying, "Oh, he um, hugged me," or like um, he's um, like grab my hands or whatever. It wasn't in a sexual manner or whatever like that. But you know how these women are coming out and saying that. But with the Anita Hill thing, so I guess, supposedly, it was the way she was treated. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so he was the, um, but there's the uh, what is it, the um, person in charge of okay. the committee. But he, yeah, and he's here's only the one man. So, but here's the thing: where him, where has it changed? Exactly. Where has women not been treated that way till this day? Exactly. Where is so? It why the, is he the only one having to apologize? The, that's my under, That's what I'm trying to understand. And that's my point. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, we're going back. Well, you need to apologize. You know, okay, that's all fine and dandy. But where has it today mm-hmm. been that? We are moving forward. Oh, oh, you know, our president doesn't apologize for shit. Exactly. He's on Twitter. He's doing all kinds of craziness. You're like, holy moly. But we want to. That's what I'm saying. It's just it's a it's a pick and choose. And right Mm -hmm. now, politics is really just sitting really bad in my stomach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I agree. You know, I've never really been one, but it's Mm -hmm. gotten worse and worse. Mm -hmm. We're not getting any better. We got so many other issues like, you know, um, that was another thing when we're going to talk about that and how the U.S. treats its own people. Like, you know, uh, the the Notre Dame, uh, Notre Dame uh, burnt down. Now they're sending all kinds of fucking money. Yes. But Flint, Michigan doesn't have any goddamn water, clean water. We don't we got we have a homeless um, problem in LA just all in California yeah like let's keep it 100 and it's going all over and it's spreading all over the place Mm -hmm. Um, we have all kinds of other you know healthcare is uh, in shambles yeah we have all kinds of but you're gonna sit here and send money like get the hell out of here like this is what my tax dollars are because now we want to build no people owe us Mm -hmm. we we owe our we We owe China huh sorry what was that (laughs) I was like, what was that? Whatever, something about China, whatever she said. She stuck a piece of cake in her mouth. I couldn't understand what the hell she said. But anyways, so at the end of the day, you know, it it is what it is. That's why I'm just like, I'm over it. We'll see what happens. It's going to get uglier and nastier as time goes on. You messy. Yes. It, it's, that's why I'm just like, you guys, there's bigger issues mm-hmm. that we need to focus on. Did you know also, um, I'm still not... You know, really gung ho about him, but what's the guy, um, Mayor Pete? That's also running for president. <clears throat> I'm still not gung ho about him, but I'm still looking at all the candidates. I don't know who I'm going to vote for, right? But That's they him. tried to do a um, smear campaign on him and get two guys to fake like he uh, they sexual he was sexually assaulted by <laughs> this candidate, and they caught him. They got a recording of the guy trying to set all this up. And I'm just like, really? Are we at that point now? Of Where you want to try and do a fake story and set up somebody? Listen, it's happening all the time, every day, all day. It's crazy. I mean, I, this is what I think is hilarious. Uh, <laughs> you got shit spilled. I, I know. <laughs> you know how you do, do you know how many black men are out there in yeah. jail for fake bullshit as mm-hmm. well? It's kind of like, oh, now you're getting a little, pay, a little yeah. taste of it. That's true. You know, like, oh, wait, what? Uh, how many times have you been accused of shit that don't go down? Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. I'm just. Yeah. No, it's all around. It's just like really. It's just crazy. Um, Speaking of which, I I think we need a little because that always leaves a bad taste mm -hmm. in my mouth. 
I think we need to do a little bit of um of um congratulations to the fact that we have three women of color in the pageants as Miss USA, Ooh. Miss um, Teen USA, Ooh. and Miss America. Hey, all are black, really? Yes, all black women. History was made. Oh wow. Um. Yeah, and uh, Miss Teen USA. Where you find us at Instagram, girl? And it's all over the news. Like, yeah. so you hush yourself. <laughs> um. Miss um, Teen USA mm-hmm. is a natural hair girl. She got an afro. What? Yeah, yes, a natural hair girl, curly afro, gorgeous, beautiful, very intelligent. We're gonna post this on our website. Yes, yeah, super happy. And um, same with the other two, with the two young ladies that are. Mm-hmm. Um, shoot, I'm trying to um, to see it, but. Um, just to show they come in all shades, mm-hmm. and um, it's finally some love out there. Mm-hmm. So now my question is this: Now that we do have, yeah. like, uh, you know, black young black ladies as um, as um, Miss U- uh, representations of yeah. all of us, what is? Oh, yeah. See, here we go. Um, yeah, Miss. Okay, so Miss USA, Miss Teen USA. And Miss America, yeah, like I said, uh, yeah. are, are all black um, women. Wow. Um, it's a great time. So, you know, they're all beautiful. And mm-hmm. um, now do you think – has that – do you think that's going to change the perspective now? Now that Miss USA, Miss mm-hmm. Teen USA, and Miss America are mm-hmm. all black women? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just keep it real. Do you think this is um, a ploy? Or that's what I was just going to say. I feel like – you know, they give you a little bit, but still pull back a lot. So I think, you know, this is great. And, you know, of course, they worked hard for it, but I need to see more, you know. Yeah. So hopefully, you know, this will open up the doors for more opportunities, more things. Like who's on the board? Who's, you know, in charge of what um, what the questions are? Who yeah. makes up, you know, the marketing? Who does all the behind the scenes? And, and, you know, but you know, at the, regardless, at the end of the yeah. day, now there's black women representing. Yes. Which is great. Which amazing. is great. So, so very happy little black that. girls can see that you yes. can be Miss USA. Miss. Mm-hmm. Usually there's only one. This yes. is three. All yes. three. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I'm excited about that. Yes. No, very, very happy about that. Um, but um, kind of switch subjects. <clears throat> Uh, kind of a, you know, little unnerving subject, but um, the wave of shootings that has been happening, um, you know, lately. Just had a shooting at uh, UNC, um, University of North Carolina. Mm-hmm. We just had a shooting um, over in um, California at a church, a Jewish church. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, my God. I can't. I forgot where it was. I think Sacramento. I'm not sure. Um, and then there was another shooting. Um, I think in another school or something. Um, but it's just like literally every other day there's some shooting happening, and mm-hmm. yet nothing is being done. Because at the end of the day, money to, money makes money is more than mm-hmm. lives at this point. We already know this. Yeah. It's not that we can't handle it and it can't mm-hmm. be done. It people they the people that and you know people that want to tote their guns or, you know, the NRA, gun companies, all of this stuff, that it's it's a money thing. Mm-hmm. So as long as as long as more as long as people want to buy their guns, mm-hmm. as long as people want to do it, it really it, it's gotten to the point where we're desensitized and it's yes. just like, oh, here we go again. Mm-hmm. What, what, what else are we going to do? Mm-hmm. You know, the, my concern is, uh, you know, my this is my thing. They always want to talk about, you know, black men mm-hmm. um, being a terror and a danger. Mm-hmm. Um, they're always one. But if you noticed, mm-hmm. if you've noticed that a lot of these shootings mm-hmm. and sh- are not people of color. Yeah. So we have inbound terrorism here. Like and they don't want to. Yeah. Like you know, they say, "Oh, white person sees a black person, a black guy watching. They're clutching their purse because they're thinking mm-hmm. they're going to be robbed." How about every time I go into a movie theater, I'm freaking out. Every white person comes in. Are they going to have a a gun? Are they going to do mass shootings? Mm-hmm. Are they going to do? I mean, this is this is the world we're living in. They always want to generalize, mm-hmm. but they don't want to ever really talk about it and really put it out there and realize that there is a freaking problem. Yeah. There is a problem. It's domestic then, terrorism. You know, it's domestic terrorism. We're, we're shooting. We're, we're beating a boy to death. A police officer is beating a mm-hmm. boy to death. 15 year boy. Because he went to go grab his friend's phone. Mm-hmm. But we're, we're literally handcuffing a mass murderer who killed a bunch of people. Yeah. And walking him in and being like, oh, yeah. and this and that. So t- 
where's the balance? But, there like, is no balance. Mm. There is no birth. There is no balance. Mm-hmm. We're letting you know it doesn't matter. Here it is. It's yeah. basically saying it doesn't matter as long as you're a person of color, your life, it does not matter. Mm-hmm. We're going to do whatever we want to, need to do. As long as you're uh, not of color, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter what you do. Yeah. Literally, and which There's no really, consequence. Every shooter has been arrested without any problems. Without any problems. I you just sit there that. and you shot a bunch of people. I think there was a young man, um, I think it was at the USA, that um, jumped on the ki- jumped on the mass yes, shooter. A 19-year-old boy. boy yeah, jumped on to him save everybody. to save everybody else. But the mass shooter gets to walk away. Yeah. This young man sa- sacrificed his life to save other people. And we're just going to act like, oh, don't – I'm sick of the old let's do prayer mm-hmm. shit. Yes. Save your prayers. Yes. Save everything else. What are you going to do? And mm-hmm. the reality is, is nothing is going to be done. Yeah. So we literally have to be watching our backs mm-hmm. wherever we go. Yeah. Exactly. And you know what? I'm going to tell you right now. Like I tell my daughter, I tell myself, telling every listen to your fucking instinct. Mm-hmm. If something, if you are out and about and you don't mm-hmm. feel comfortable, something don't feel right. Yeah. Go home. Yeah. Walk away. Do something because mm-hmm. that's our own intuitions mm-hmm. telling us, hey. You better. I be going play. I was like, mm, I don't like it here. I'm out. Yeah. No, exactly. I'm, I'm the out because then if some shit come down, then I'll be mad at myself because I was like, I should listen to yeah. myself. It's crazy. You can't go to the grocery store. There's you can't do shooting, anything. Bank. There's a shooting. You, you, like, I mean, even now, the other day, <laughs> the other day, like there's cop cars everywhere, and I'm like, ooh, mm-hmm. they're out. Who are they coming to get? Yeah. You know, it's like now. Oh, do I? I can't make a right turn. Do I make mm-hmm. a like? It's yeah. You're we're constantly you're frozen. Frozen. So, yeah. And you're not even doing anything wrong. But then mm-hmm. you're like, okay, well, what do I do? Do I do not? Do I? Mm-hmm. You know, because the wrong move can just set them off. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. The other day, too, they, we got some wild police chase. You're chasing down a man off of the OC, all these highways and mm-hmm. shit, and he goes away. But you pull a brother over mm-hmm. or a sister, and you're shooting. Yeah. That makes— That's the first instinct is to shoot. Well, because that's what yeah. they're taught. Yeah. That's not an instinct. That's something yeah. that you're taught. Mm. Our instinct is, yes, we are in survival mode, but we also have the right to think, and we're logical. Mm-hmm. You, that's like a dog. Mm-hmm. Like when you teach a dog to use its instincts and to smell and do things, it does that before it even starts to bite or bark mm-hmm. if the dog feels it's danger. But if you teach a dog how to, no matter what, whoever, start barking and writing and to mm-hmm. attack, that dog is going to attack without even any any type of um, yeah. just – yeah. Just because just you're, yeah, yeah. That's you know, what that's what I'm saying. Do. That's what they're doing. They're teaching the police to look at black people, do, no matter whatever move, whatever, mm-hmm. whatnot, shoot. They're yeah. looking at, uh, you know, other rate. Oh, don't, you know, you got to stop. You got to think. So it's the same thing. I mean, mm-hmm. how many dogs you see out there? There are dog owners that don't train their dogs. And many yeah. black bodies, you're yeah, like, that's there's true. other dogs that just smell, keep it moving. No yeah. danger. No, no fear. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, it's a kind of it's a kind of like a same analogy in its own little weird way. Yeah, no, it's just all around. It's crazy. I don't know. Hopefully, you know, someone whoever, you know, I think it needs to be someone strong enough on the other side of the aisle that you know common sense needs to come back, <laughs> you know, and say, don't. There's nothing wrong with having guns. Of course, you know, I mean, we've all, you know, I've grown up shooting guns from Tennessee. But when you have AK, R15, like, really? Listen, you um, know, I listen, think that's, that's just uh, too much. Um, New Zealand showed us all. Yeah, in one day. Okay. They changed the laws in one day. New Zealand showed up. So mm-hmm. when people wake up. It's yeah. not that it can't be done. It's just they don't want to, they don't want to have it yeah. done. It's all about the money at the end of the day. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking of which, we must uh, pay highly due respects and say RIP to John Singleton. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Thank you for bringing that up. Yes. No, that's so, like, that just I blew feel, my mind. I feel like we're losing all our strong black men. Yes. I really do. And, you know, uh, well, I, don't, I haven't heard any updates, but Peebo Bryson had a heart attack. He's in the hospital. Like, I feel like, I yeah. don't know what it is. I feel like we're under, the, our black men are under attack. The ones mm-hmm. that are doing something that are conscious, positive, that are out there positive and, yeah. or doing whatever. I don't know if it's mm-hmm. just a point for us to think about things mm-hmm. and then, you know, whatever. But he had a stroke. He had mm-hmm. high blood pressure. Hypertension. Hypertension. In the black community but, but in the black really community huge. is very big. You know, um, I think more and more people are starting to realize that mm-hmm. our, the diet isn't the greatest. Yeah. More people are starting to go vegan. Vegan, mm-hmm. Are you raw, vegetarian, or even if you I'm want, working on my vegetarian. Yeah, <laughs> you know, even um, 
less uh, processed foods and yes. things of that nature. Mm-hmm. Um, going back to more um, organic, more uh, you know, yeah. well, organic. You know, it's just yeah. I just I felt bad. I was like, damn, yeah. fifty one, fifty one. He's young. Yes. That's nothing. 50 is the new 40, if yes. you really think about it. Mm-hmm. Even the new 30, because he did yeah. not look 51. Yeah, not, not You would have all. never known that the man had hypertension. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, oh, man, baby boy, mm-hmm. poetic justice. Boys in the hood. Boys in the hood. He was the, the youngest num- uh, nominated He nominated for, for, yeah, he was like 24 yeah. years old. Yeah. So may he That's rest in peace, and um, he will always live on with all his yes. amazing movies. Poetic mm-hmm. justice, girl. Ugh. Girl, I wanted to be Janet yeah. at that time. Everybody with those, did. Du- with those braids. <laughs> yes, I think I had those braids. It didn't with the Duke look braids. like that, but yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's Janet. Exactly. Yeah, you could try all you want. <laughs> yeah. You ain't gonna look like Janet. So <laughs> I know. <laughs> there was just a picture of her recently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, girl, she was like She's fifty. Right? She's, she's 50 something. Yeah. And she, she was looks good. a girl. She was naked and this. And I was like, who's that? Is that Janet? Yeah. Man, I'm not ugly. I just don't have money. That's my, <laughs> that is my thing. That's I a new j- motto. I, 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 I just ain't got no money. Because the reality is, once yeah. you got money, you can you take can it do, up. Yeah, you can do 50 whatever. 50 million. You just uh, enhancing more of what you got. I'm, you got the yeah. team. Mm hmm. My enhancement is me, myself, and I. There you go. You know, I got to put go. on my own makeup. I, I mean, Cardi just got her boobs redone, she was saying, uh, you know, because yeah. of the breastfeeding, her yeah, daughter. Bre- yeah. You know. But there, uh, here's another thing. I don't know what she said. She only did her boobs, but her tummy looks a little like she had some lipo or she had something maybe mm-hmm. done just after the baby. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. It looks a little... You know, it looks a little off, but mm-hmm. maybe it was just the kind of makeup yeah. they put on her. Yeah. But she still looked fabulous. Yeah. So I'm not mad still at her. It was good. Shit, if I had the money, I'd do it too. <laughs> Girl, I'd be the first one like, hello? Yeah. Doctor. <laughs> doctor. <laughs> in a split second. I'd be like, doctor. Yes. In a split second, let me tell you. No, listen, it's. It's just a sad situation all around. And, you know, we just got to make sure, you know, we take care of ourselves. Um, you know, no matter if you're rich, poor, whatever, you know, famous or not famous. You know, it's a serious, serious, you know, issue um, that we need to all kind of get behind and stuff. Absolutely. But it's just. I mean, you know, I think about it all the time, like this organic and everybody eating mm-hmm. like that. Um, as a kid, when I would go to um, in Puerto Rico every summer mm-hmm. to go kick it with my family, mm-hmm. like we were, uh, my family was not rich. That's what's what, yeah. poor as hell. Yeah. Okay? Like poor. But, you know, rich in love and, mm-hmm. you know, to be able to say. But, you know, we would go out there. Uh, we didn't go to the store to buy no mm-hmm. damn mangoes. There was a mm-hmm. mango tree. You're like, mm-hmm. literally, they would fall off the tree. Yeah. And you, like, they would go bad because there were so many mangoes. Yeah. You know, same thing with um, certain foods and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, my grandmother, back in the day, my grandma had chickens and shit. She'd be like, mm-hmm. go get the ch- go get the eggs from the chicken. Mm-hmm. Girl, I hated that because the <laughs> chicken was so mean and she would pet. I'd be like, I don't want to go over there, but she'd <laughs> go get that shit. Same thing. You know, there uh-huh. was chickens running around. She would go, that's our, go get yeah. And I'd be like, um, don't we have foster farms? Because <laughs> I'm a straight bougie. I was like, don't we have foster? My, my grandmother called my mom and said, you sending these bougie ass kids yeah. up in here. Mess. And I, she cut off the head, plug, plug, boom, boom. You had to cut off the head? Girl, oh, you got Lord. a fresh chicken. You got to cut off the flat head. You de-pluck it. You know, you pluck it. You de-pluck it. Take off Oof. all the feathers. She would cut it open, put, cook it fried. Shit was bombmaw.com. It was organic. <laughs> it was free range. It was <laughs> okay, PETA, please do not come after us. <laughs> Listen, Peter needs to take it down twenty because this is a this is the way it was, and this is how some people still live in these days. That's true. Yeah, they're, they're, I think Peter's more That's about true. the slaughterhouse and yeah. how they're treating the animal. Yeah. the animal was the the chickens were outside, had its own chicken yeah. coop. They you know feed corn and all this other bullshit. But anyways, that the point is <laughs> the point is that it was just yeah. one of those things. Mm-hmm. You know, we go. Uh, my grandmother knew fishermen. Mm-hmm. Every morning they come with fresh fish from yeah. just from the sea and you would eat and whatever. So I think nowadays I think people are trying to go back to that yeah. and trying to figure out, you know, that easy living, mm-hmm. making like, you know, hamburger helper and mm-hmm. what is it? Uh, the frozen Which, foods. Oh, yeah. All of, the, all of those things from back in the day to try mm-hmm. to make your life convenient are realizing it's not as convenient it's, anymore. Yeah. No, it's not. A lot of sodium. Yes. I think that's the. Biggest issue, sodium. Sodium. You know, carb, you know, carb like, sodium. Because you gotta you gotta you gotta process it to mm-hmm. be able to yeah. withstand that long. That's true. So that's true. But anyways, yeah. RIP. Well from you know, we just gotta send our love and blessings to the family. Yeah, absolutely. And hopefully it won't turn into any craziness because already like reports are like fighting within the family. So we just, you know, hope for the best. Lord. You know. 
all around. But, yeah, it's just a sad situation. But once again, it's been a lovely seeing you. And um, it should be. Okay. Well, you know, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you I. <You're, laughs> it should be great seeing me. Okay. I ain't got time for you. Um, this is, you know, another Hot Topics episodes, craziness, season four. It's been amazing. We had a couple more episodes to do, more, you know, highlights and fun. We just want people to keep watching, keep listening, keep subscribing, reviewing, rating. That's what we need. That's what we love. Wow. That was the most, that was, what? I mean, you should have done that into a rap. Oh, I, I should. Maybe next, next time. Because you were like, subscribing, reading, rating, watches, blah, blah. I was like, oh, snap. <laughs> That's like she, Broadway type of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Jazz like, hands. <laughs> Spirit fingers. <laughs> You are a mess. Anyway, thank you guys for listening. We'll like see always, you later. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening. Take a little time to enjoy your brand of Moscato and tea with us every day. Subscribe, rate, and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and MoscatoandTea.com.